Hey, what's going on everybody here? Welcome to an American Truck Sim video. I'm FTT Full Tilt Gaming. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you guys are doing well. We have got the K100E by Overflutter here off the scene workshop. Also, Special Transport General SES Default uh, DLC. So, if you guys are looking forward to this, you guys have been asking for heavy haul. So, don't go anywhere. Let's get to hauling. Well, we uh, welcome once again, uh, and then we are here in uh, Spokane. We got a special transport here on the K100 e by Overflutter here on the same workshop. So we got two awesome things with it. We haven't done some special transport in quite some time, and actually, someone in the live chat said, "Hey, do one video live stream, whatever." And then I've actually got quite a few other people in Discord say, "Hey, what you gonna do special transport?" I was looking forward to that. So anyway, well, that's what's on tap today. So if you guys are looking forward to this, uh, I know I am. I always enjoy these. They're a little finicky sometimes. Um, to, to kind of get everything you know i don't want to get it all set back up and uh get used to driving them again because you kind of get used to those reefer loads and flatbeds and the easy stuff but anyway this is always a, a little bit of a challenge especially in some of these small washington uh towns so anyway if you guys enjoy it i hope you enjoy this if you do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and let me uh let's go ahead and let's get this baby started so we'll uh let's go ahead and crank up here So I'll put us here in the cab. There we go. All right, so we gotta make a. Gotta make it. Let's pull that tag back up. We gotta make a crazy turn up out of here. Feel like a hot knife through butter. our escort block off there so if you've never done special transport really maybe you're new to ATS and you have no idea what any of this stuff is you're like dude how do you have that trailer um, which there may be people that watch that have no idea what the heck's going on um, so this is part of the special transport DLC that came out from SES um, it's been out for quite a while and probably for well over almost a year maybe so at any rate, this was, uh, they did these special transports, so we have our own escorts, so people are always saying, FTG, you need a pilot truck, you need a pilot truck. Well, this is the only way in SES, I mean, only way in, uh, uh, in that you're going to have one here on, uh, on ATS, unless you're doing online. You don't have to stop for stoplights, you don't have to stop for you. But especially driving these loads, you gotta make sure that you uh, swing them out. It's a good thing we got a cab over. It makes it a whole heck of a lot easier. So once we get on the actual road road here and stop making turns, we'll get you in the cab here on the setup. Got a few things here on the stream we'll talk about. You guys are always asking about.
Continue straight. Keep right, and then turn right. All right, big old right turn here. Turn right. I'm going to flip with this view so we can get the full thing here. riding here uh, you should be able to see we've got map over here which is uh, not quite off center but I was trying to figure out a way if I could actually let's just see if we can put it right in the middle I'll slide myself over a little bit which may look a little weirder on y'all screen but you'll at least be able to kind of see everything I don't mind either way <laughs> there we go Alright, it's got to change the lane maneuver over, so he wants us to uh, come on over with the front guy. Then the rear guy's already moved over, so kind of cool how this is all coded. I, I, I really, uh, you know, it's one of those one of those times in a game that's that's uh, especially a, a series that's had a lot of growth. Uh, it's always left. cool to see when they do these kind of stuff in game. I'm surprised that they're, I, yeah. So this is one of those things I'm surprised the modders have not figured out how to utilize uh, special transport or heavy haul. And, and maybe it's something that they don't necessarily need, but I'm surprised we don't have options for trailers to own. Um, I'm surprised we don't have, um, you know, something like with new loads being maybe brought into an SC, I mean, uh, brought into a, like a, not an add-on DLC, but modded ones. I'm surprised that we haven't had those yet. Uh, a few people have been able to pull some of the loads off just to create some trailers and like really cool loads, but they don't effectively have anything to do with special transport. So, little, little, uh, little odd. Good gravy, man. Came over with the quickness. All right, so I think let's go ahead and let's run over. If they don't like it, it'll tell us. Alright, so this front truck is going to keep up with our speed, so we can basically go 40 before we start rolling into this uh, Explorer in front of us. can probably see all this in this in this right here so you may be wondering what that is that is sim dash or sim hub excuse me sim hub uh, dash studio um, they are a program you can actually find that off race department I believe it's dot net they're the ones that kind of supported it for a while uh, but you can download the main program from sim dash sorry sim hub uh, google those two words and sim hub and the dash right. studio and, and it should tell you right. basically everything that you need to know 
And also, if you want to find some dashboards like what I feature here in the live streams and whatnot, uh, you can go right. grab those. Um, you can go grab those on. Uh, if you Google uh, Google Dash Studio ATS ETS2 dashboards, there's only a couple of options that pop up. There's not really been a lot. This is mainly a racing deal. So if you have your own monitors, your own, um, what do they call them, next next can LED screens and stuff that you use in race rigs, you can set all those up to, to feature things from Dash Studios. It's pretty cool. It does more than just do ATS dashes. So if you're a rally driver like me, you like doing some of the rally stuff, um, some of the other sim titles like uh, Project Cars, Santa Corsa, it works with all of those titles as well, which is why I use it and don't just use something simply just because it's made for ATS or ETS. So kind of kind of generalizes and, and keeps things simpler on my end. So any old way. All right, so we're about 100 miles here. So we got uh, take a giant silo down to let's see what cargo. It's just got our dimensions, but it does not it does not have our drop off. That's weird. Huh. Only fifteen thousand dollars to move this thing. Hmm. Alright, we'll flip our cruise up there. We'll wanna start running on this uh <laughs> we'll start running on this guy here in a minute. All right, we'll get a little uh, little outside here. the way I forgot to mention this before we are on the MHO Pro map as well so if you guys see some things or see some companies you're like whoa I love how this guy side swipes all the cars it's, it's, it's very, that's fantastic hey slow down just, just go ahead just give it a big there he is Let's go one more. 
Yes, we are on the 18, so we do have our, our switch clicker over here. Just waiting for chat to blow up. Oh my god, it's not a switch clicker. <laughs> That's when the last video I did, uh, you could hear the me changing off between the range and stuff. and. Uh, had a comment. I, I wound up deleting it because I was like, this is so stupid. It doesn't doesn't apply to the video. He was like, oh my god, shut off. What the heck is clicking in the background? <laughs> I was like, uh, that's the shifter. We'll move to some outside In here. In 200 meters, turn right. So I'm surprised uh, after the railroad tracks, I'm surprised they didn't make us... I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't make us stop. I mean, I, just, I think that's kind of a thing. Turn right. Absolutely no traffic on the roads out here, which is actually kind of weird being 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Beautiful right here, man. I love this whole coming up through Colville, the, the dam, all the stuff they washed in. It's so stinking pretty.
Sorry, I said Colville. I meant to say Grand Coulee. Like, uh, I was thinking of the damn ass it's not in Colville. But you know, Colville's up this, this neck of the woods. Yeah, so anyway, sorry, Grand, Grand Coulee. Oops, my bad. Continue straight. Coolest little descents out of Washington. There's not many places that, that really you can pick up tons of speed. Um, I love this little part here. This is nice. It seems like on live streams we're always um, seems like we're always climbing up it, so it's kind of nice for once to have to actually watch our gears going down. You should see the dam coming in right here on our right. Probably switch outside for this one. We'll enjoy this little track in.
I think it should be on this next street right in between these houses. I'm not sure why these houses need a giant silo, but I guess it's the syntax. You have reached your destination. All right, let's see if we can see if we can make this. This is a <laughs> I mean, it's a really hard place to try to get a trailer like this in. I will, I will give it that. Even being a cab over, I'm like, golly, Pete, man. All right, don't hit the generator. Okay, not too bad. We swung that one out wide enough. All right, good job. Pat myself on the back for that one. All right, so don't ride the rut yet until you actually get to the parking place, because I think this truck... One of these trucks will bottom out. I can't remember which one it is. parked up here so i hope you guys enjoyed a little special transport i enjoy these so i hope you guys do enjoy these ride-alongs uh if you do don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you want to see next so i'll see you here in the next video guys we'll see you peace out